Hello there everybody and welcome back for part 3 of the updated Ricciville 4x Multifruit and Factory map live multiplayer let's play and we're back here with Dixie. Howdy y'all. Thank you for the $5 super chat Steve. I really appreciate that. Very nice. Welcome everybody. Let me get some gameplay up on the screen for you guys. We're just pretty much picking up where we left off. Dixie's running around working on the factories. I'm in the fields reseeding and harvesting the rest of our fields. You can see there that on the PDA, we're pretty much 50% done the harvest. And uh, I had a hired worker down here on 19. It looks like he might have gave out on me. Or he completed it. But uh, I'm up here on 24. I'm about to harvest that. And yeah, things are moving along just great. So we got out the we got the big guns out here. So like two swoops will be done this field. Hey Nick, love your channel and Hobbs Farm. Thank you, Jacob. Really appreciate that. Hello, Thomas Love. Jose. Uh Class Martin. Everybody. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a unfolder harvester as well. Okay, why are you saying unfold? Okay, we're already unfolded. Um, I think you still have the potatoes in a harvester somewhere, don't you? I, I'm not sure. Possibly. Oh, wow, we're getting straw from the sunflowers. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, I'll the potatoes. I'll leave it here, but if it gets picked up, it don't matter. I'm over in uh, 24, way over on the west coast. Or 24, yeah. Look at that, yeah, straw from sunflower you gotta like that yeah you get straw from sunflower corn millet and sorghum yeah steve i was asking dixie about that um what were you saying yeah. it could be again dixie i kind of forget they're, they're missing a mod one of the script mods yeah it looks apparently you're missing a mod so like when you go over to the trello site make sure you're not missing anything because uh, I've never heard of that problem myself, but I'm it's, not on the map long enough. It's probably one of the script mods yeah. that are in the necessary pack. Because you need to make sure you have the common files and the uh, global company in there. Or your game might not load. Yeah, make sure you got that, Steve. I think they did a great job on converting it. Yeah, Hobbs Firm's beautiful map. I always like that. I, Right since 15, that's when I started playing, and I remember Hobbs Firm from way back in the day. It's a very nice single-player map, guys. Big open uh, square fields. It's a real, yeah, they did a fantastic job on the conversion. Oh, right. Okay, thank you, Dixie. And some people have been having problems with the downloads. Either their internet fr frizzes out on them, or uh, they get disconnected. But it will say in your folder, unconfirmed download. Just delete that and then start your download again. Yeah. Because they think they have everything and they don't. One of the downloads didn't finish. Chico asks, what, would you ever test the 64X map? No. <laughs> no. No, thank you. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's a little too big. I Like, I don't know. That, like, I find a 16X map, like, really, like, pushing the limits. But a 64X? Good lord, man. Think of four. Like, four 16X maps. That's what a 64X map is. For one person, I think a 16X map is too big. Yeah, for sure. I actually have six hours in Hobbs Farm. Very nice, Jacob. Okay, let's go find us a Tippa. We'll check our cedar on the way by. I just hired a worker so we can get the uh, get the fields well, resold. I've got a tipper now. I drained through the potatoes. You can have this one. Okay. I'm over here by the shop. Alrighty. I'll grab that in a second. The uh, worker misses strip here. I'll just finish up his little job here. Then we'll move over to that big field there. So yeah, if you have any questions, guys, just let her rip. We'll do our best to uh, answer them. Dixie has way more knowledge about the uh, old man maps than I do, that's for sure. But yeah, if we can uh, help you out, we can. We, we will certainly try. I be right, ha ha. All right, here's the tipper. Thank you. Well, a tipper anyways. Well, 
field you in? Uh, you could, if you're bringing it over, I could use it over, where's that harvester? Over in 24. It's way over the west. Okay, that field's done, yo. Let's bring it on next door. All right. Let's do that big guy over there. That looks like a monster. And maybe we'll drop some canola here. Let's bring up my HUD. Canola. Yeah. There's not much in it. It's only a tiny field. But I can get the harvester going on another field after I'm done here. Okay, buddy. Attack! Attack that field. Am I over far enough? No. Let's straighten that guy out a little bit. Yeah, welcome everybody. So my luck ran out. We had snow last night. I'm pretty fortunate, actually, for living on the east coast of Canada. This is the first big snowfall we got. We got uh, 25 or 25 or 27 centimeters of snow last night, and it knocked out our power for several hours. Now you can put all the Ricci maps in the same folder, but don't put any other maps outside that in the, in your folder. Yeah. Big high and make and sure you have. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's and, okay. and make sure you have both the common files, because the islands have have a separate common file than what the the Ritchie or the Hollow does. Saskatchewan, nice. You got any snow, Glenna or Glen? Yeah, we just got our first big snowfall yesterday, guys. I had to do break out the shovel. And it's that sticky snow too. It was right heavy, heavy, heavy. Kind of wet. But we got enough, so that's not going away for a little while. Why are you doing that? Stop, stop. There we go. Okay. I'll have to come back and check this guy periodically because he's missing spots here and there. What's a centimeter? A centimeter is... Isn't that like one sixteenth of an inch? Yeah, it's it's very small an increment. I think he has one tenth of an inch or something like that. Something like that. Hello, Morpheus. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> How fast is he sewing? 80 kilometers? No, nah, pretty uh, 50 kilometers. But yeah, we like modded mods, guys. Now this was... Cedar goes 31. Oh, does it? Oh, miles an hour, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty fast. These are done up. Like, we played multiple 16x maps, so some of these are modded for 16x maps. But, uh... Right, I put the tipper down here in 57. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm just going to leave this guy go at this. I see a tipper here. In 57, yeah, Oops. thank you. Okay, I'll just run that guy over to 24. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Like, they're not for everybody. I know some people look at the mods we use and, got, you know, think it's ridiculous, but we like them. It comes in handy. And don't forget, like I just said, they're, they're modded for 16x maps, so go and to a back to a 4x you know it's going to be a little quicker but there's just me and dixie here today guys so just bear with us 2.5 centimeters equals one inch thank you for that uh jaco the battery charging station is for the, ba the dead cells uh you'll get dead cells from on the on the regieville map you'll get dead cells from the seaweed factory on the hollow map, you'll get it from the other uh, end of the line factories like the beer and the uh, Heinz. So you take your dead cells there, drop them off, and it recharges them where you can use them again. Oh, Dixie's ahead of the game. She already emptied this guy. 
Okay, let me move him next door. Let's find another harvestable field here. That's cotton in 22, so we'll just... Yeah, you can go ahead and get a mod, uh, cotton module over there. Okay. Let me take this guy over to field 6. Now, field 6 is completely surrounded by water here. I'll have to find a little... Yeah, the road's right there by the... You'll see it. Okay. Don't drive in the water. You'll have to reset your machine. Good tip. Because I probably would have. Yeah, the opening's right here by where I am, actually. Right across from the slaughterhouse. Okay. Can I get there from... Like from the west coast, or do I got to get on the island and then come back? I'll f I'll figure it out. Oh, I yeah. don't know if I can get my harvester out of here without cutting a tree down. <laughs> That's the only thing I hate about the 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 trees going all around the fields. It's like the big equipment. It's it's you can't get it out of here. Was well, for for Reachville, the Hollow, and the Islands map. It was it was originally made for the Islands map. I don't think many play, many people are playing the islands map anymore. We all have our favorite of the three. Yeah. Richieville's fun. Richie Hollow's my favorite old man map so far. Mine too. Um, if you're just starting a production map, this is a good start for production because it doesn't have a whole lot on it. And it's much easier for Nick to navigate a 4X map than a 16X map, let me tell you. Uh, let's see, I see Dixie coming. I might have to carry my header across the bridge here. Yeah, you probably will. Let's go over, deactivate my flight. I'm just filling up our factory so we can get our own seed and stuff made. Good stuff, good stuff. I know I left my truck in the middle of the road. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> It's only the two of us. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna have yeah, to. Yeah, the the PV map just my my old computer wouldn't play it. It <laughs> it pretty much done my old computer in. But you know, we did have everything running. Yeah, that's. I mean, right. I was getting what six to twelve frames is, is all I was getting. Oh my god, that'd be painful. Yeah, like some of the production maps, as we were going along, they were starting to like, starting to get a lot of lag because it was a lot of stuff going on. But I noticed uh, Old Man's maps, especially uh, Reachy Islands, like we were pretty late game and it was still running perfectly. So it's nice to see. Now the only problem that we had when, was when a couple of people was cutting trees. Right. Yeah, that's right. That always seems that that always was a problem with the trees. Like if there's multiple trees on the ground and multiple multiple stumps, it does tend to lag until you get rid of all that, and then it kind of cleans it up a little bit. I like to use the auto drive and create maps. Nice beaver. Yeah, they don't lag. That's good. I really like that. I noticed, like, because we were late game and we had a lot of stuff going, and it was still like 60 frames a second. So that was very, very nice. Create routes, I mean. Oh, cool. I never played or used that one before. That's very realistic, Pixel says. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, I know. It's not for everybody. Like I said, guys, some people don't like that, but. Once again, it was mod modified for a 16x map, and we just didn't convert it back. We even th that header is only 50 meters. We have a 100 meter header, and we're staying away from that because that's just too much. That's just a little too much. Does Three King do your multiplayers anymore? No, he doesn't, Steve. No, he's no longer with us. Play it like you want to play it. Play it like you want to play. Exactly. It's wh however that you like to play the game, and it brings enjoyment to yourself. It doesn't matter how you play it, guys. 
as long as you're playing it and you're getting some enjoyment out of it, you know, different strokes for different folks. We got a few more adjustments to make on the new equipment pack and then it'll be ready to roll out to y'all. Cool. Oh, we can, okay, we well, might as well do this field since it's right here. Seven. I think that's where we're heading anyway, seven. Then I'm heading to six. Look at this header. Boom. Two sweeps should do it. What do you mean this header is not realistic? <laughs> yeah, this is only 50 meters. We're leaving the Some of these fields are pretty big, though. Yeah, it's still a 4X map. Okay, I'm But the disadvantage is that you can't hire a worker with the bigger headers that we use. Yeah, that's right. Because they will miss all kinds, guys, if you use a higher worker for that 100 meter header. Yeah, it's, it's it only uses half of it. Okay, let's find our John Deere harvester. Or a cedar, I mean. This harvester's just sitting here. Might as well get him to work. Now, remember, you guys, if you're using the TARDIS teleport, that it will not, it's not compatible with the new Precision Farming DLC. I use PV Tools Nick, the new one. Nice. Yeah, make sure you're updating your stuff, guys, if you haven't, like, been around the game in a while. Because old man's always updating stuff, so make sure you're uh, brought up to date and you have the latest uh, Global Company mod, all that stuff. Oh, okay, I got Roy in here. That's why I'm unable to cut that. Okay. So where's this? Guy? As far as I know, course play works with it. Now the ex the additional field info mod does not work with it either. I'm up by thirty five. All right, we have some seed and fertilizer and all that stuff making. Nice. Okay, let's take this guy over to thirty five. Where am I at here on the map? I'm down by twenty four. Thanks, Dixie. Thomas Loft said, uh, how about then use course play with it? Yeah, I don't use course play myself. I used it back in 15 in the early days, but I've never gotten around to using it again. But I heard they, uh, they improved it. It was causing a bunch of issues there for a while, but hopefully they straighten that out. Jason uses it. He likes it. It's a pretty handy mod for single player. I cut down all funny shaped trees on Med Medviden 1X map. I got 3 million liters of wood chips. I use Turtis a lot. Oh yeah, that Turtis mod's a really nice mod comes in very very handy especially on big maps you can get around the map just a little bit quicker okay we're going to keep going up north here get over to 35 Nick, I'm about to ask you a hard question. What is your favorite FS19 map ever? That would be uh, PV County. That's my favorite so far. It did need some work, but uh, if you watch my top eight map for uh, top eight maps for 2020, that is my number one pick. Follow closely by Old Man's uh, Old Man's maps because I love factory maps, guys. Not, all, not everybody will agree, but I love the factory stuff. It just, you know, gives you a whole lot more to do. But yeah, that's my f my second, f or my favorite map. My second favorite and third favorite is uh, Ricci Hollow and Ricci, Ricci Islands. Ricciville's in there too, but I already reviewed that for 2019. That was his first map. Yeah, I, I gave a little history lesson in the Discord yesterday. Oh, when nice. The maps came out. This map was originally came out in the 
about May of, of 2019. And then April of 2020, the hollow map came out. That's right. So they were due for an update. LOL, I don't use it. Haha, <laughs> I drive faster vehicles. And yep, that was a problem, Nick and Dixie. Thank you for helping me out. No problem. No problem at all. Okay, there's my harvester over there. We'll grab what's in him and get him back to work. We'll check on our cedar over there. It looks like he's just finishing up. So yeah guys, don't forget to follow Dixie over on her Twitch channel. You can find the link down below in the description. When she streams, she answers questions and she knows quite a bit about these maps guys. So uh, if you have a Twitch account, give her a follow. If you don't I think mind. I know more about these maps than what old man does. <laughs> he makes them, I play them. Yeah. She's she's the they tester for all them. his maps. So she she definitely has good knowledge of all this stuff guys. Okay, let's bring, oh, we'll jump back in this guy in a second. I just want to get this guy over to work. Doop, doop, doop. I'm making another way into the field over here at uh, 25. Okay. Here at the corner. Okay, let's set him loose. We'll go check on our, oh, we'll drive by this guy back to, uh, they've been putting stuff in silo to, uh, Thanks for the follow, guys. Nice. I've got test maps of all all three of them going. Actually, I got test maps of four. You guys may not know, but old man's make, making a fourth map called Ricci Homestead. Nice, nice. It's it's a hard start map, uh, more realistic. It has well, if if it quits putting fields in, it has twelve fields on it. Very little production. It's a nice map. I just tested it uh, yesterday. Cool. The 4X. No, I want to keep going All right, across now there's, here. Now there's a way into the steel. I'm just going to dump this in silo 6 because I'll have to run all the way down there. i got to bring him right no, back No, that's again. fine. This is a 4X map. Yes, Jacob. I think we have a composter there at the farm. Yeah, it's a 4X map. The new one is. <clears throat> As soon as Old Man gives me the uh, what's going to be the release copy, I'll be streaming it. Nice. Like I said, it is a hard start map. He actually put trees in the field, so you have to cut the trees before you can use the field. So you get a little bit of work ahead of you guys. So if you like to mow grass and cut trees, then it's going to be an idea map for you. And it's a lot of make your own make your own fields. Right. Like an upgrade to no man's land. But not as difficult as the islands map. Right. Mine was PV County. Yeah, that's mine too. He he got to fix, fix some stuff. And I hate saying anything because I love the map. Like just I, I'm really impressed what he's done with it. But we were getting like serious, serious lag towards the end there. So I don't know if he fixed that problem. I haven't revisited that map in quite a while. But hopefully he addressed that. Because we got right into the late game stuff and after a while it was just, it was getting unplayable because the lag was that bad. And like I said, I hate saying anything, but it's just, that's what happened. This guy gave out awful quick. 
He did one row and said, yeah, I'm going home for the date. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, oh, you wanted the whole field done. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave straw oh. behind. I don't know if we need it, but I, I'll do it anyway. I set a composter down here at the main farm. Okay. We can throw it in there. We got that. a loading wagon somewhere, but I've not found it yet. This guy missed a couple of spots. We'll have to go back and just fix it up a little bit. We got soybean on board. Let's quickly zap that stuff up. I'm going to get a worker started on this cotton. Yep. Woo! A little too fast. So where's this guy at? He's over on field seven. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. Just leave this dude here for a minute. Looks like our cedar is completed. Did you miss anything, bud? Oh, he did a good job. Yeah. He did a good job. Look, did miss a thing. Precision farming works on it, right, Dixie? Oh, she'll be right back. I'm pretty sure, like, the, all the maps that are being worked on and all the uh, maps that are to come are probably going to incorporate that, if that's your thing. You don't have to use it, guys. The map will still work without it, but they're adding that. Even to some older maps now, I've noticed... Uh, Kaz has been updating his, uh, some of his older maps to work with precision farming as well. PVC is my favorite map based on detail. Yeah, there's just so much, and there's so like the, he introduced so many new things. I love the way the storage works. I love uh, all the new buildings. You know, I love the bridge system. Like that was it's just really really good map. But I mean, it was a it was a real draw between old man's maps and his map. But, I mean, I had to put them in some kind of order. So, uh, old man got my number two and number three spot. But my number one spot went to PVC. Okay, it looks like he did a pretty good job there. Let's go over and see if this field's done. Go check. Uh, that one needs to be harvested. Here's a field. Looks like it could use some seeding. Oh, this might be already done already. Yeah, that was that's already seeded. This one's seeded. Keep moving up the road here. It looks like that field needs to be seeded. Yes. So we'll move to something else here. Maybe we'll put some soybeans here. Just kind of mix it up. I wish I had dodge net skills. Yeah, really. Yeah, it would definitely come in handy, man. I always thought that would be fantastic, like, to create your own personal map where you could put everything the way you want it, you know? Totally lay out the map like how you would make it, and it would just be, like, a custom-made map. But I wouldn't even have a clue where to start with that, guys. Dixie's learning the ropes quick. She's learning a lot of stuff, and she, I wouldn't doubt like she'll be able to make her own map. Probably, yeah, probably by the end of the year, I'll be, be cool. ready. Uh, Jacob asked if if precision farming works on it. Yeah, it works on these maps, but it's it it's the standard. Uh, it doesn't have a special uh, lo layer. Just the standard soil types and everything, like on the uh, Ravenport and Felsburn maps. Right. We're not we're not going to update the maps for the precision farming because most of us don't use it. Yeah, I can't. I don't use it myself, guys. To be quite honest, we're playing pretty big maps, and it's you know you're able to do it, but we get enough work to keep us keep us busy, honestly. But if that's your thing, go for it. Absolutely. Okay, let's do a little bit of mining while our workers are at work. We'll just clean up here a little bit.
Mr. The Potato, I love your videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I cannot wait to see Dixie's mods. Yeah, she's learning, man. Pretty soon she'll be taking the road, the, the, taking the reins and making all her own stuff. She's well. I've got great teachers. Yeah, so. she learns from the best guys. I learned from old man and Papa and Kaz, and some things from Dave actually. That's all I was asking because I wanted to get a hand of it. Yeah. I've almost become an expert editing XMLs. <laughs> yeah. It's a good it's a good uh, thing to have because you can always tweak your mods to how you like them. Yeah, some of the things that we use now are some of my tweaks. Yeah. So I, I, I kind of forget what, uh, I remember you mentioned some factories that old man's working on, but I don't want to mention anything that's kind of, was there anything? Yeah, we got the, the, the first three placeables that we're going to have for the maps is the, is my pie company, the fermenting house, and, and, and a new factory. It makes uh, breakfast food, Mr. Species, uh, scrambled factory. Yeah, all the egg stuff, remember all the stuff at the end of the PDA, the scrambled eggs and all that stuff? You gotta be yeah, it makes to... Denver omelets, Western omelets, hash brown, scrambled eggs, and uh, orange juice. Nice. So that's yeah, that's something that's coming out soon, guys. So keep so your guys eye... get get yourself stocked up now. Yeah. You'll need to get your greenhouses and orchards going for the the pie company and for the fermenting house. You need all that stuff. Start filling your silos. Your barrels will be used soon. Is that the land down under map, Jacob? No, the 64X that Kaz is working on. Oh, okay. That's going to be a dandy, holy. But Kaz has another map that's getting ready to come out pretty soon. Uh, I, I think it's called Island Life. Oh, nice. Yeah, he mentioned he was working on something there. Yeah, I don't think his 64X maps are going to be available to the public. Right. It's more of a, a see-what-he-can-do see kind of thing, I think. Right on. Oh, man, imagine trying to fill that in. Good Lord. Couldn't imagine. Dixie, do you know how to increase poop production from cows? I never get enough poop from them. <laughs> nope, just buy more cows. Yeah. Just keep, yeah, buy more. Get some, get If you're using the, the, the poo for the, the fields, then, yeah, I'd, I'd just go ahead and buy more cows. <clears throat> but remember, a lot of the greenhouses and things, you can get a, use compost also. Yeah. Compost is a lot easier to make than That's taking right. care of a bunch of cows. That's right, guys. Don't forget, yeah, all that uh, orchard stuff and stuff. Uh, orchard and uh, greenhouse stuff, you can use uh, compost. And like she said, it's easier to come by that. Buy your composter and dump your straw in it and voila. Off you go. I couldn't keep a hired worker going on this little piece in, in 21 or 22. I'm having to do it by hand. Yeah, sometimes they cut out on you there, I noticed. Well, this is just that tiny little piece. It's, it's a field that's in half. Right. I gotta lift that thing up. Is that, I turned it off, right? Yeah, lift up. Lift up, lift up. Yeah, my advice to everybody is if you if you want to play a new map and you're not quite sure where it comes from, track it down before you use it because a lot of maps are getting stolen. Yeah. And the stolen copies are not supported by whoever makes the map because they don't know what changes have been made to it. If you ever see like any old man's maps over there on those sites, guys, or, or cast, they're not real. They're not real. Like you, you have to get them from Papa Smurf's site or their own Facebook page. Yeah, don't trust them because they're they're definitely if they're on Mod Hub, they're stolen. And then once somebody up uploads it on Mod Hub, then then a bot posts it on the other sites. Yeah. So yeah, just to give you a heads up, if it, if it's there, guys, it's not his map. And you may run into all kinds of problems. So just keep that in mind. I 
Let's pick up some spicy meatballs. Hey! I put auto load on, sir. Yeah, when the new equipment com pack comes out, I don't think I'm going to be able to get D Nick out of the big dump truck. <laughs> I'm going to have a ball with that. Why aren't you picking up? Work mode is on. I've set the rocks, I'm pretty sure. Let me try that again. Turn that off. Yeah, Stevie's mods are good, too. Oh, I must have switched it. Yeah, We're Stevie actually makes, using a couple of Stevie's mods. He makes fantastic mods, too. I used to review all kinds of Stevie maps back in 15 and early 17. Now, some of my favorite maps were Stevie's maps from 17. Yeah. I love the auto cell factory maps. Yeah, all the greenhouses and stuff. The, uh, yeah. They move along a conveyor, and then they'll go eventually make it to the uh, sail trigger. And all you have to do is keep filling them up with uh, with uh, ingredients, like products to make it, and it, it'll just handle it on its own. Uh, square bales, round bales. I think it was Beaver Creek that I, I played the most on. Oh, okay. All auto sale. Rocks, there we go. And what was it, Rolling Hills, I think it was? It was really nice. Nice. Yeah, he made some dandies back in the day, let me tell you. But it's it's been converted over to 19, but it's not auto sale. He was another guy that had an awful time with people stealing his mods. Okay, now let's see if I can get a worker to stay working. It's just so hard, guys, because once it's released to the public, it's pretty much uh, free for all, you know. But it's it's not cool that people do that. Okay, now back off to find the loading wagon. I think we're done with potatoes, aren't we? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Should have a few we'll of them. Take us back to the shop. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. That's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I keep pressing Z or Z. Oh, I just pass it rocks. If you're having a lot of problems having your computer uh, play certain maps and everything, lower your graphic settings. That always helps, guys. Because even though my computer can play in, in Ultra, I have it set on medium. That way I get better frame rates. And I usually keep a, a steady 60. Yeah, you can't go by like what you need to run Farming Simulator because if you're playing some of these maps, they're really uh, heavy on memory and stuff. So you've really got to uh, watch it if you have a lower end computer. And like Dixie said, you can always drop your graphical settings to be able to, uh, you know, it don't it doesn't hurt to be able to get a decent frame rate. Hi, man. I'm from Romania. Why so sad, Andre? Why so sad, my man? Okay, rocks it is. Romania, cool. Yeah, there's a dump truck in the making, guys. That's this holds nine rocks. There's a dump truck coming that's gonna hold fifty-five rocks. So bring it on. That'll come in super handy. We should have it for Friday. Oh, nice. That'd be cool. This har I take it this harvest over here in seven needs to be emptied. Yeah. We'll get rid of this clover. I'm just going to clean up around the mines here and I'll hit the fields again. All right, let's go next door. See what they got happening. Let's go back and check this other one here. The one we just passed. I think that's a gravel mine. Y'all have any questions about this map, just let us know. We'll, we'll show you where things get dropped off, picked up and such. Yeah, 
that dump truck's gonna be some handy, I'll tell you. You'd be able to pick the, all these up in one shot. I stuck in the hole. Don't drive in there, Nick. Oh, can I get out? Yeah. I'm gonna get some more drill pipe over here at the oil well. There we go. Oops. One way too dumb. It Ain't it nice to not have to worry about the train hitting you? Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. No train phobia. <laughs> yeah, we used to get crushed by that thing coming through. Almost like the tipper is empty. I just I just empty the harvester here in seven. It's a little tiny pile in the tipper. <laughs> <laughs> I stuck I stuck in the rut. Okay, we'll have to use our superpowers. And ah, oh yeah. And the strong man mod comes in very handy. Don't let anybody tell you different. It's nice to be able to get your truck out of a spot without having to reset it to the shop. Just jump out and give it a hurl. Where are you going? You spicy meatball trying to roll away. Okay. That'll do it for this mine. Okay, let's get this guy out of the way. We'll go over and grab our uh, milling machine. Do you know where Romania is? Uh, that's over in... Uh, God, it, oh, wait a minute. I don't know exactly where it is, but it's over in Europe somewhere. But welcome nonetheless. Shadow settings kill FPS. Yeah, you, you might want to drop that right down. Because it does. I'm if you don't need it. Somewhere. If you don't need it, just get, yeah, turn it off. Because it's not a big deal, you know what I mean? If it's going to make your game run smoother, yeah, go for it. Copper, yo. You need the copper. There's another flatbed. Cherry Hills and, pl and Plains and Simple and Simple were my favorite maps that I wish were under. FA yeah, Cherry Hills was a really nice DB map too. And the Plains. My favorite DB map was uh, Ringwoods. I don't know if you guys would remember that, but it was like in 15, I do believe. But he made all kinds of maps in 15 and early 17. Yeah, it's really a pain to have green in your thing and have to reset something. Yeah. Especially if you get a lot of lag and accidentally end up in the water and have to reset. Oh, for sure. 
I t okay, I take it this tipper doesn't take copper because it's not going into the tipper. No, if it's the one attached to the truck or her tractor, it don't. Okay. The new one does in the new pack. Will it spit it? Will it spit it into the storage? No, you have to get a, a one that takes uh, copper. Oh, okay. A little red one, a little mini Otten wheel. Yeah, I'm constantly picking my equipment up and throwing it. <laughs> Hello, Sean. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we're almost done here. I'll have to run over and grab a one of the little trucks because that uh, tipper's not modified to hold copper gimme gimme yum 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 okay let's park this guy to the side Best way to get started on this map is start w start with your lumber mill and then get your ore and your coal going. <laughs> Look at this guy, teetering on the. <laughs> He's like totally stuck on his own swath. That's when Hercules comes in. Rah! See stuff like that. You don't want to have to reset that all the way to the shop just for that little. But if you're using big headers like this, it's it's going to happen. Okay, this guy's done. He's all emptied. Oh, we got the cotton harvester over there. Very nice. There's a mini otten. Okay. So where did I say I was? We're way up north. We got to bring this guy down to the mines. No. Ah. Oh, my let's. Truck, I better. My truck is sleeping. <laughs> See, I don't want to steal them on this guy because this guy's gonna have to be empty. Let me. Do we only have one mini otten? I wonder. Uh, there's a big tipper, a full size tipper over there. Get out of my truck. <laughs> there's a full size tipper across from the farm. Is that that white one? Okay. Yeah, the white one. That'll work. Yeah, just. And it's close. I. I avoided hitting the tree, but I ended up tipping my truck over. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember at the lumber mill, you can take the uh, the wood chips, the straw, or coal to use for fuel for the lumber mill. It's easier to just use wood chips because you have them trees everywhere. And then at the, the log point, you can put either logs in there or wood chips also. I usually get it going, then I get my ore mine going, then I get my coal mine going. And then I go work on the uh, oil oil well and the refinery to get some diesel fuel made. So you don't have to buy it. Man, those rocks really spawn back quick. I just did the coal and I came back and it's full again. Copper, copper. What's the best way to get started on this map? Uh, probably with wood chips. That's a good way to make some money. Plant some poplar. Um, what other ways? Is there? Of course, you got forestry and cutting grass and stuff. And you're gonna want to get your mines right away because that can bring in a great income. Did you have a nice Christmas? It's my first time back in here after sorting all the turkeys out and Christmas. <laughs> Are you full of turkey, Sean? <laughs> Good looking map. Yeah, this is a fantastic old man map. He just uh, updated this. This is Richieville. The link is in the description down below. It's over on the Trello site. And you can actually get all old man's maps on his Trello site, guys. This goes over to the lumber mill.
when you must reset trailer with green and it heavy lift mod is safer. Yeah. It won't be much longer for the equipment packs ready. We're having to tweak the unload speeds of some of the tankers. Nice, nice. Got a lot of nice stuff in the pack. Tree. All members are being mustered in this field. Hmm. I'm a butcher, so no one left now. They're all being gobbled. <laughs> Good afternoon, old Gus Gaming. Welcome to the stream, bud. So glad you can drop by today, guys. Okay, let's push around the corner and we'll, I think the next one is gravel, so we'll go work on that next. No, I've not had any problems buying any of the fields. Nope. Now, if you're trying to use that mod that lets you uh, lease the fields, then you might have problems buying them. I wouldn't suggest that mod. That and the used equipment mod. It's been corrupting a lot of save games. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how those mods work. I didn't check them out, but yeah. Any of the game-altering mods, guys, like keep your eye on them because they will conflict with other things. Although they're very handy, like... That's like, uh... The, the dev tool, you know, you got to really watch that one because that one gets quite picky. Yeah, you can't use the dev tool on a server on these maps. No, it don't like. It don't like. Did I get well, much snow, Nick? You mean, did I get much snow? Uh, yes, we got uh, about 25 to 27 centimeters of snow last night. And it hit quite hard. That's what, like four inches? Something like that. Oh, no, geez, uh. No, no, way more than that. I'm American. I don't know metric. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an estimate. Is an ankle high or past? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about, yeah, I'd say like up, to, like halfway up to your knee kind of thing. Okay. Something like that. Halfway up to my knee would be almost a foot of snow. Yeah, it's something, something like that. <laughs> 12 inches. <laughs> oh, you got the same old Gus? Where are you from, bud, if you don't mind me asking? Are you a maritime or two? Yeah, he got about 12 inches, too. Wow. Yeah, this was the first snowfall that actually stuck. Usually, we, we did get a little bit of snow before, but we kind of lucked out and it melted. It seemed like on the really cold days, it didn't it didn't or rain or snow. But when we did get it, it uh it wasn't very much. But yeah, we got slammed last night enough to knock out knock out the power for five hours. Dang. Yeah. Well, you keep it there. I don't yeah. Worry. I don't blame you. Yeah, we've I had, had to... we've had two dustings so far. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I had to break out the shovel. Okay, we clean that up. Let's go get the rest of this here. I don't think we've even touched the cranberry field other than show how to drain the water in That's right. off of them yet. We didn't need cranberries for anything. Do you need cranberries for the pies, maybe, when that no. comes? Okay. No, you, you can use them in one of the animal foods, though. I think oh, that's donkey cool. donkey food. Yeah, I like when all the multi-fruit has a purpose. Oh, we're going to have to get the trash truck down here. The lumber mill's full of trash. Got to go on trash collecting. Has anyone cut any trees between fields right of Cranberry Field? Uh, 
Not Myself Mechanic, 1965. The Trees Between Fields, right I of Cranberry I Field. I cleared out all the trees here at the lumber mill area, those two, two uh, small fields. There's 720 here. Wow. I took them out in like an hour and a half. Were you having problems with that mechanic? Like, were, were you having problems cutting down the trees? or? Oh, the trees fly away on me when I cut them. Really? Hmm. What are you trying to cut them with? Wish I wasn't working. Yeah, I wish you had the day off too, bud. Sunday. It's always nice to have the weekends off, but some people aren't so fortunate. But it's nice of you to uh, drop by for a few minutes on your break or whatever. Now, when I'm streaming, I don't usually cut a lot of trees because I figure y'all don't want to see that. Yeah. Lumber mill is Jeans Wood Products, right, Dixie? No. Jeans is over there by field 13. The lumber mill is over here by field uh, 49. On this map, anyways. Jeans is where you can sell, sell all your logs and your wood chips and everything. Thanks for stopping in, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Have a good one, bud. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to bring the Brooks down there and, and see if I have the same problem. But I've not cut those trees yet. Jason cut most of these. Find a flatbed. Pick up no, those. There's one up there by the mines. Okay. I've got the other one emptying out the lumber mill. Then we're going to have to grab a trash truck. Yeah. The lumber mill stopped right now because it's full of trash. Didn't have the problem anywhere else. Just in that spot was a mechanic. The guys get your warehouses loaded up and ready to go with building products. You're going to need steel, plywood, drywall, wallpaper. And cement. Build your factories. Oh, you're hiding over here, are you? There we go. Let me in. I'm going to bring it over here. I just want to check on these ones here. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, you're in for a whole new experience if you're coming from console to PC. Yeah. Way better gaming, man. Welcome to the new mods. If you have questions about mods, let us know. We, we can pretty much tell you where, where, you, where it's safe to get mods from. Make sure you hit up Papa Smurf's site. He's got some really good stuff over there. Yep. And, yeah, you just opened yourself to... Uh-oh, I flipped my truck. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, now you're able to gonna get you're able to have uh, access to thousands of mods now, instead of a, like a handful. Yeah, just be careful adding them to your folder. Add a few at a time, and make sure you don't have any any corrupted ones or anything, That's or right. errors. I still use my old PC to watch chat and everything with, but I, I mostly use my new one. I mean, I didn't even have it un unboxed and downloaded with the necessary files before old man put me to work on it. <laughs> Are you I mean, I, mean I had barely gotten it out of the box, and he said, here, test this. <laughs> <laughs> my God, I just started my computer up. It's brand new. <laughs> let, let Windows download first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll come back to this one. These mines fill up super quick now. Good, good.
Yeah, Papa Sites are excellent. That's good. I'm glad you found it. He will have to make an account to download from there, but he has really good mods over there, guys. And don't forget, you can check out the uh, Trello site down below. That's where you can find all Old Man's maps and stuff. And he has tons of mods that work with these maps. You just, you're going to want to download the mod pack that goes with this stuff. And uh, everything's included that you need for all the multi-fruit, the mining stuff, all that. Uh, I'm actually actually we have, we have, we have such a wide variety of material that we put into the packs. You really don't need to add anything extra. Yeah, you really don't. We've got guys. tractors and semis and everything else in there. Everything you need, and everything's pretty ramped up too. So, if you don't have to add your own mods, I, I really suggest you don't, because everything you need is right there. I know yeah, some people prefer you know their their favorite mods, but you just got to be careful with that. Most of the extra things that we have in here are script mods to, you know, help us out with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like the animal extension and the speed mod and the, then the extra strongman mod, which to trains, you know, it's a lot of scripts, not mods themselves. Harvest in the rain, get straw from uh, sunflowers and stuff. Yeah, it comes in That's built into handy. the map. Yeah. Oh, built okay. into all three of the maps. That's good. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it says over there on the Trello board. Nice. What extra crops drop straw? It's because you need so much compost for all the greenhouses. Right. Oh, it's a good idea. And harvesting in the rain, that's definitely a good little bonus. Because you're really, uh... You know, you can't do a lot of harvesting normally when it rains, but with this mod, you can. You can still make chaff harvest, cut grass, all that stuff, but it's nice to be able to not have to not have to stop when the rain hits. Just keep harvesting. Okay, that'll do it with the for that. Picked up all that. I might as well grab those other ones since I was right over here. Yeah, I just emptied this and look, it was all back again. Arr, I knew I was going to hit that spicy. The root, root, the root crop harvester, the the Homer triple wide, is part of the equipment pack. That's what you use for all the root crops, the beets, the uh, carrots, onions. It's part of the pack. You can also download it off Papa's site. And we we like to play production maps, so it's entirely up to you whether you want to play a production map or a non-production map, or you can you could download and play the map and not do any of the production. That's right. You don't you don't even have to touch this stuff. You don't want to, guys. You got fifty nine fields you can you can take care of. Of course, you got multi animals and the extra animals, the donkeys and the chickens and or the ducks and the goats. Lots and lots to keep you busy on on these maps. You'll never run out of work to do. Early game you might have, you know, but later game when you start owning some land, yeah, these mines alone will keep you busy. Then you get all the greenhouse and orchard stuff and, like Dixie said, the animals and plenty, plenty to keep you busy. Trash. So this, this, this is a good map to, like, an intro, intro to production. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's not too much, but there's still quite a bit to it. I like it because all the bas basics are built in. Yep. And they're built in with places that make sense. That's and you're not right. you're not having to go all the way north and all the way south across it like a 16x map from one thing to another. That's the only thing with those big maps. Like when we were playing on PV, like the the, the meat. The butcher shop was like right up the north of the map, and then the pizza place where you need the meats is down south. And that's a long haul across a 16x map, let me tell you. On 
until you play the 16x map you don't really realize just how big that is it's like yeah it's quite big yeah the contracts work we just own the whole map so we can't do contracts yeah but th there's another way to make early money doing contracts but poplar's a good way to go too guys because you can make some serious money with wood chips Oh, and the poplar output has been increased a double. double oh, nice. Even better. From a standard map. So that'll definitely get the income rolling in. So purchase more property to make yourself even more busy. When you start out a new farmer, you start out owning the cranberry field. And cranberries do grow back. Yeah. Yeah, course, plays work. course play works with these maps. Hired workers usually do a pretty good job. There's a few exceptions on some of the fields. Like where I had the cotton harvester, because the field's broken too right there by the water. Right. I had to do some myself before I could hire the worker. But I think old man does a great job where the trees aren't in the fields. So it's very worker friendly. Yeah, it'll definitely slow you down if you got to cut down trees and landscape. More work to do, but yeah. Yeah, my favorite map is the hollow map also. Yeah. I don't know, that new that newest map, that, that old man done the homestead map is really nice too. I forget that. Like, I know I probably reviewed it. It's just been so long, I can't really remember the uh, layout. Well, the homestead map's completely new. It's not been. Oh, released. okay. I just tested it. I, am I mixing that up with Happy Homestead? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That was a funny farm gaming map. But oh man, uh, streamed this morning on the new homestead map. Nice. And there's another way you can get some information, guys. If you follow Oh Man over on Twitch. His channel is Old Man 1022 and, and he's also on YouTube. And YouTube as well. I keep forgetting that. That's right, Dixie. And then you can follow over, over on his Facebook page. And, yeah, and the Discord. Dixie and him are more than happy to help you out if you're having some problems. Because there's a lot to take in, guys. If you're not used to these type of maps, I mean, there's there's a pretty good learning curve there. The new homestead map has only two factories on it. Well, three factories. Four. Not very many. There's a boathouse, the sawmill, a Tom's Tables, and the scrambled eggs factory. And the poultry house. So you actually drop off your pigs at the breakfast factory and then, then they slaughter them there on site. You don't have a, slip, a separate slaughterhouse. And on that map, you get sausage, uh, I think bacon, scrambled eggs, and hash browns. You don't get orange juice because there's not oranges on that map. Look at that. Are you gonna? Uh, I was wondering why that stone wouldn't disappear. Okay, we'll clean up around this mine and then we'll hit the fields again, guys. Look at the gold. Look at the gold. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go grab our milling machine and we'll clean up this mess here and then we'll move on. Oh, Q and J. No, I don't use course play, so I don't know. What version of oh course play okay yeah I don't I don't use course play either I used to use it way back in the day but yeah I haven't tried it for a long time but I'd imagine you'd probably want the latest version 
They're constantly working on that mod. There's the version Cole K uh, uses. Always watch your uh, CP updates on GitHub. That's right. Yeah, you'd probably want the latest version, I would imagine. Same as Global Company, guys. Make sure you're always keeping up to date with Global Company. It's not updated for a while, so. That's good. Because for a while there, they were constantly updating that. But that's good. So uh, pretty much everything you're seeing here as far as equipment is all available over with these uh, maps, guys. Like the milling machine I have on the front of the fence here. Works with all the, uh, the mining stuff. The Fent is in there. The Crone, I'm pretty sure that Crone's in there too. Yeah. But like we were saying, like, really try. Like, I would just, if you can, just stick with the mods he has in the mod pack. That way you're you're less likely to run into any problems. But it, like we were saying, if you do bring your own mods to the table and, and install them with the map, just make sure you, ins like, put a couple in. And make sure they're going to run properly before putting too many in there. Because you will uh, run into problems. You won't know what mod's causing it. And any of the game altering mods, watch them. Because they'll conflict with other game altering mods. Such as, uh, uh, like a course play works fine. But uh, there's some other mods there that, that won't aren't compatible with other ones. Well, the hard worker didn't do too bad on this field of cotton. Nice. Hello, Dean. How you doing? Another Dean. Sometimes helps using in-game grain cart for PC to work properly. Or CP, I keep saying P PC. Course play. 284 mods installed. Never had any issues. Good stuff, Cole. Yeah, just watch your mods, guys. I can't emphasize that enough. If you're, especially if you're new to these maps and stuff, yeah, just try to limit yourself. I think totals a, a total. There's 74 mods. You know, he has another mod pack in the works. They're just kind of getting the working the kinks out and. Uh, once it's available, we'll let you know. Okay, that'll about do it for the ore for now. Let's go drop this off. Sun's starting to go down. Of course, there's going to be a few more if you have more than one, one of the maps in here. Yeah. See, old, ma old man's maps are compatible with each other, so you shouldn't have any problems having, like, multiple old man maps in here. But really watch you don't have other people's maps in there, because, yeah, you might run into some problems there. Amazing. Still use your PVC channel, part 5 I am on. Nice, Dean. Thank you. Very nice. Glad you know you have quality <coughs> over quantity. That's right. Yeah, just what we need, guys. Just what we need. Like, he also order, er, offers that gas pump there that will give you diesel. It's going to cost you money, but it's a great way to, uh, you know, all your mining stuff needs diesel fuel. 
So until you're able to make your own, that's a great little pump to put down. Like I said, it's going to cost you money, but at least you can get some of this stuff going right up right away. Okay. Well, we got somebody new that don't know how to empty the cranberry field. Would you want to show them? Empty the what? The cranberry field, the water. Oh, okay. Uh, let's head over there. Yeah, there's a uh, truck and a uh, water tanker over there by the lumber mill. Okay. The white semi, then the blue tanker is outside the lumber mill area. Oh, I see a tanker down there. I'll have to switch it up with the flatbed here. Oh, this cotton harvester drives so slow. See if it has 500,000 liters of water in it. It'd be nice. Look at that, right on the money. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that tanker is a million liters. I adjusted it. Nice. Okay, let's head down to field one. Well, cranberry field, water field one. Water field one. Yeah, the homestead homestead map also has a uh, four flooded fields on it. Two cranberry, two rice. So, yeah, go ahead and grab a tanker, put 500,000 liters of water in it. This tanker can be found over in his mod pack as well. And then you're going to want to find the little uh, station to fill it up. It's right around, it's down the other end there. Hello, Jeremy. How you doing? That reminds me, I'm going to be doing a next picks. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy uh, gifted me a game yesterday. It's called No Place Like Home. And it's a resource gatherer. It looks pretty cool. I was watching some of the gameplay on it. So I do believe I'm going to have a Nix Picks up tomorrow, guys, if you want to check that out. The game is currently on sale over at Steam for like 6 bucks, 6 dollars Canadian. Pretty good deal. And it looks like a pretty good game. You might like that, Dixie. It's a resource gatherer. But Dixie's is it? pretty busy. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty... It's, I got a lot of games like that. I can't, ain't got time to play. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, just bring your water right on over to this trigger, guys. And we're going to put all 500,000 liters inside. Yeah, you can find this over on uh, the Trello site down below, Dean. And it comes in handy, yeah. like very handy. The one on the Trello site only holds 500,000, though. Oh, is that right? So this is modded for yeah. us, is it? Yeah. Okay. So, you'll, yeah, you'll have to, if you don't know how to adjust the uh, XMLs, you'll have to make a couple of trips, I guess. Uh, of course, oh, yeah. If you go looking for a million liter tanker, just be careful because it may not work with all the liquids on the map, right? Right. Okay, so we got that's, all our water in there. That's why we have, have the packs for you guys. That way you don't need to edit anything yourself. Yeah. Oh, slow down. Holy. Flying. Okay, so once you have your water in here, you're going to come over to the trigger. I'm going to activate that. Am I flying? Yeah. Watch you don't have your flight on, guys, because it won't work with the triggers for some reason. Okay, so we're going to click on the water here. Then we're going to press start. And now all the water from the field is going to drain into these tanks here. Now, it doesn't happen instantly. you got to give it a minute or two. And like I said, guys, like see it disappearing? It's going in the tanks there. But this isn't necessary, but it just adds an extra thing to the game if you want to play it realistically. But you can you can harvest that field with the water in it. Like, nothing's stopping you for doing so. But if you want to keep it realistic, you can plant anything there when it's dry. And if you want to flood it, you should, like, technically plant rice or cranberries there. Okay, you can see those tanks are full now. Field is completely drained. And then once that is all harvested, you want to flood it again. Just go ahead and jump in your tanker here again. Where else did you leave straw at, Nick? 
Oh God. Hmm. I'll just look around for crops that drop straw. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was a mod that showed the straw on the map. That's another thing I wish they did. See? There's one that will show bales, but I couldn't ever get it to work all the way. Yeah. Because of the specialized bales that these maps have. That's right. Yeah, all the straw harvest add on stuff. But yeah, I remember reviewing that back a while ago. So yeah, just come up to the trigger here, guys. And uh, start filling. And then you see the tanks draining out there back into the uh, tanker. Just keep this tanker handy around your water fields. What is it just the two water fields on this map, Dixie? Yeah. Yeah. So the, you have a water field one here and water field two here. All right, mechanic. We'll see y'all. See you later. See you, mechanic. Have a good one, bud. Thanks for dropping by. Let me draw. So that's how that works, guys. So just keep your water tanker handy. And yeah, it just gives it a little bit more spice if you want to keep it realistic and do it that way. I am playing this game for 10 years and cannot wait till to play tomorrow again. <laughs> right on, Thomas. I have 10 years. Wow. I've been playing it for six. I came in when Farming Simulator 15 just came out and I fell in love. I've been playing since 13. Wow. I can't remember what year that was. I actually still have the map that come in the box. Yeah. And I have the map for 17 here on my door. There's uh, half tore up now. <laughs> <laughs> There's straw over in 37 here, Dixie. I got to straighten this guy out. Okay, I'm headed did. that way, anyways. Okay. I'm trying to see what this is. This part of the field somebody missed. Yeah, the higher workers using these bigger headers, guys, they're kind of getting a little confused. This guy's probably stuck on his own swath again. Yep, Bert. Teeter totter. Look at him teeter. All right, here we go. 37, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to stay in here and I'll finish the rest of this field. Because uh, I see some power poles here and the higher help is not going to like that too much. How far can you go with PVC building? I'm not really too sure what you mean, Dean. How far can you go? There's tons of stuff in there on that map that got to be built. So, like, there's quite a few steps. You have to purchase the property first. Then you have to build the factory on the property. Then you have to fill the factory up with the resources to make your finished product. Then you go pick up your finished product and sell it on the market. So there's or take your finished product and take it into the next factory and make the next thing so you that's can build right. the other things. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, that's required as an ingredient for other factories. And PVC, too, there's, uh, if you, you got to go into the town hall and purchase the property it's on to be able to build the bridges on the map. Unless he changed that, I don't know, but that's the no, way it used to be. No, still that way. Okay. And uh, there's also a... a a little sign in there that'll show you all the different bridges that are built already and plus you get awards for getting certain factories built and stuff you can see little plaques and trophies inside the uh inside that center so the government building government building yeah but yeah there's a lot some, to do on that map good lord some plate some people call it the council building council <laughs> building right on but yeah you'll have to purchase the property or you won't be able to build the bridges on that map. Very important step. 37 is way up north. Okay, we're going to have to do a little bobbing and weaving here around these power poles. Well, there's no hit detection on this header, so maybe I can go right through here. No, that's going to hit on the inside. All right, yeah, yeah. Almost. Almost. I just got to clear that first section, and then I'll be able to drive through it like that. The only hit detection is the inner part of this, this one.
All right, I finally made it way up here. <laughs> Even across a 4X map, it takes a little while to, to get across. Yeah, the higher workers don't like these power poles. Here's Dixie. How's my Sunday going? Really good, LPP. How you doing? Glad you could drop by. I will keep watching your videos. Thank you, Dean. I really appreciate that. In FS 2008, you had wheat, canola, barley, and no other and no animals. Holy God. 08. Wow. Yeah, that was before I got introduced to it. I remember. Uh, I kept seeing the advertisements on YouTube for uh, Farming Simulator 15. I was like, I gotta check that out. And good lord, did I ever love that. And then I got introduced to mods about a year later, and I'm like, oh, I know what my new favorite game is. Yeah, remember the days when you got excited because your tipper would hold 40,000? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're spoiled nowadays. It's like, good lord. You can find anything Million, you that's want. all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I remember, like, when they first introduced the factories, like, you had to find the triggers separate. And what a job you had trying to match everything up. My God. And only certain tankers worked on certain maps. And, yeah, it was a bit of a mess. But, I mean, we were used to that back then. The, the, the game has changed quite dramatically since... Now the new equipment pack, a lot of the a lot of the uh, trucks and stuff, you'll be able to change in, engine sizes and, and quantities and things. Oh, there's a tipper right there. Look at that. Yeah, I left it there for you. Nice, thank you. I've been trying to leave you a tipper there. Yeah, I remember in, in 13, I got all excited when I found the tipper that held up 40,000 liters. <laughs> that was the Go Crest Valley map I was playing on then. Yeah. Oh, Dixie, you made me laugh, Thomas Love said. I uh, had like two X mods and 17, I think, or even more. Yeah, 17 had quite a bit of mods, too. They were really starting to kick butt FS-17 when 19 came out. Like, it was right at its peak then. But, of course, everybody kind of put it in their rearview mirror once 19 came out. Well, there's still quite a few people playing 17. Yeah. <clears throat> Bill and his dad still do. I still get questions for Farming Simulator 15. It's like, oh, good lord, man, I don't remember that. Papa That's... plays 15 still. Wow. It's like I'm, I'm surprised even some of them links are, are still working because they I mean they've been near there for years okay let's find another harvestable field where are we at here or over in 35 37 uh, we'll head over to 32 Get that done. I know there's been there's been a lot of copies of F F S uh, nineteen sold. Wow. And plus you gotta Six. remember a lot of people picked it up on Epic when it was free. Yeah. That really helped out the channel when the, when Epic gave it away for free. It brought a whole slew of people over. Oh ow. Oh my god. That thing just whipped around some quick. Alrighty, that stroll's picked up. Some people still play 1311. I've heard Sub was doing FS08 map in 2020. Wow. Talk about taking a step back or two. But hey, yeah, if you enjoy the gameplay, you can still buy them on Steam, guys. Okay, this, this one's still growing, I take it. Oh, it looks like it's ready. 
Let's try yeah, it. should be ready. Okay. What is that over here in this field? Or is this a root crop? Nope. This is coffee. 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 What is this? Oh, it's a power buggy. <laughs> Doing in the middle of the field. I have no idea. Jason must have picked that up. I've been playing since... 11. Wow. All right. I'm going to go take the wheat down to the dairy. Yep. Oh. FS13 had such an amazing game experience. It felt so epic only when only then, but for sure better than FS19 experience. Is that right? Yeah, things... The, the game has changed quite a bit since this one came out. The whole factory system, the multi-fruit, it's all quite different. I gotta clean that up because that's gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, I was going to pick up FS13 just to have it, but it was like 20 bucks. It's like, oh, okay. I probably never will play it, so I don't know. I'm not going to bother. It'd just be added to your wall of shame. That's right. The old wall of shame. Has anybody picked up any deals over the winter sale? It's going to be wrapping up soon, guys, so you might want to grab it while you can. Grab your deals. I catch myself when I'm bored. I go over and start flicking through the catalog of games they got. Something might have got by me. And it's like, oh, I should pick that up. That's pretty cheap. FS13 in 2013-14 felt better than FS19. Oh, is that right? See, I can't say myself because I'd never played 13. But, yeah. Some people prefer the old one, older ones. Some people refuse to make maps since this one came out. They were like, no, it's such a change and it's too much work. And they just kind of gave up. The only thing I liked about 17 more, I said this last episode too, is uh, how the factory system worked in... Oh, I'm missing some here. How the factory system worked in 17 because they were all placeable factories and you can basically put them on any map you want, where you want. But now the, the factories are being built right into the map and there's nothing wrong with that. It keeps from having, uh, you know, conflictions and stuff because it's built for that map. But unfortunately, you can only use it on that map. But besides that, yeah, the global system was, uh, the whole global company system was quite different. To get used to. Alrighty, here's the tipper back. Thank you. Um, harvesting coffee, coffee. You know, so many people working from home with computers and and parts for them are really expensive still. Oh yeah. To build a really good BC, guys, you're going to be paying a few thousand. Yeah, I paid. 2200 for mine. Yeah. I mean, you it's can 2080 get a, super. One of the newer like consoles are like 600 bucks, but the, I mean, the computers is so much more you can do on the computer. Plus like the the whole modding thing, like you're very limited when you're on console and playing this game. Like you can download mods, but you can only have so many going at a time. And I couldn't tell you how many people ask, like, is this available on console? Is this, a, it's like, if it's over, like, a regular size map, even for some 4X's maps, you know, don't even work on that. But especially if it's, like, a 16X with multiple factories, like, none of Old Man's maps you're going to see on console. 
It just there's not enough memory there. Yeah. Yeah, I skipped fifteen also. I went from thirteen to seventeen. There's your coffee beans. Serve with a smile. Thanks, Dixie. <clears throat> okay, let's head next door. Oh, okay. 32 is now complete. We'll head on down to 33 here. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I don't know if Owen's going to bring the coffee factory back or not. I wonder. We've been so busy trying to get these other maps out here, we ain't really discussed placeables a whole lot. Right. Bring back the sweet treats in the coffee shop. Yep. The sandwich place and the Wonder Bread place. It's nice to see the I know pie. the RC Soda place is coming back. Nice. And the pie, your pie factory, that was cool. Yep, it's already back. I tested it yesterday. Nice. So yep. We don't really need coffee. I'm going to go ahead and sell the coffee. Okay. What do we... It's not used for anything. Poppy. I'm harvesting poppy now. Ready to go, Johnny's. That coffee... Uh, the the poppy makes it almost looks blurry yeah rem remember the cranberry poppy muffins yeah from the sweet treats that's right now, land, land down under is a really good map I like it I just ain't really had a chance to play it yet yeah 16 x monster he has a field on that guys it's like 4,533 yeah. acres I believe it is yeah You'll be spending some time on that. I forget how much it costs, like $10 million or something like that? Yeah, uh, something like that. I can't remember. It was crazy expensive. But once you have it, you know, you're going to be raking in some money. But that, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that map has the biggest field i ever seen yet. Pretty much after update 15 or so, PV became unplayable for a lot of people on servers. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Because we actually, that's the reason, the only reason we stopped. Because it was getting that laggy that people were complaining. And I, I can't blame them. And uh, we just kind of had to push on. But maybe he addressed that already. I haven't been over to PVC for quite a while no, now. It, he didn't. It, people are still having a lot of problems. Yeah. Hopefully you get that solved. Because that's the only big problem I had. I wasn't a fan of the speed traps either, but... It'd be just cool if you can like ha you can opt in or out of it. Like if you like it, turn it on. I know you can go into the XML and even alter it in a way that it pays you, but I don't know how to do that myself. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be nice to. Uh, to be able I'd to like do Michael that. B's solution. Just put a cargo container in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. <laughs> you just put a cargo container right where the speed traps were, so it couldn't couldn't register. <laughs> Smart thinking. Where there's a will, there's a way. I always find ways around this stuff. Hello, Omri. Hope I'm saying your name right. Welcome to the stream. 14 million. Just downloaded. Uh, land down under. Ready to see what it's like. Yeah, you'll like that map. I'm pretty sure you will, Ben. Now, it's a big map. 16x but, yeah the uh, pigs were uh no the pigs were actually built into the maps yeah i did i was that kind of freaked me out when i seen the pigs over on the island there i'm like what if you never if you haven't seen it watch out for flying things watching you in the skies keep you keep your eye to the sky that's all i can say when you no, I started the land down under in a hard start mode. I bought the fields right there behind the shop, 74. 
Nice. Then I cut all the trees down to have enough money to own 75. I like a challenge. Yep. Now, there's no factory stuff on that map, but there's definitely enough to keep you busy. It's a multi-fruit. Huge, huge map. But uh, Kaz is definitely a good good mapper, good mod ma maker. Well, hired workers done in the cotton field. Nice. Oh, you brought the truck back. Sweet. I'm just about done here with the poppy. We have our first bale of cotton. Nice. 64x map when uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be releasing that or not LPP but he is working on a 64x map but it might be just something he's kind of experimenting with that's too big for me man like I'd review it if he made it but Oh, that wasn't very much poppy. Okay, let's find another field here, guys. 33, boom, done. Okay, we'll mark our way around to 38. we got to get these fields harvested. As the sun goes down, once we hit 20 hundred hours, guys, we'll fast forward through the night. We only got uh, 17 minutes left, folks. Like I said, thank you so much for dropping by, guys. And I said her earlier, and I'll say it again, don't forget to follow Dixie over on her Twitch channel. She's always uh, streaming these maps, and she has quite a knowledge of what's going on. So don't forget to follow her. You, her link's down in the description below. Because she, she, uh, she helps Old Man test all these maps, so she, she got quite a bit of information. Every once in a while, I get to stream a map that's not old man's. <laughs> yeah. Well, she helps out all the good map makers and mods, a good portion of them. So she's learning little tricks from all the the best modders out there. So if you're gonna learn, why not learn from the best? Okay, this is cotton over here, actually. Okay, we'll skip that one. Level thirty nine. No, we can head right next door. Look at that. Thank you, Tomislav. Yeah, thanks for the follow, guys. Okay, let's attack this beast. What do we got here? Oats. Come in handy for the horses. So we got animals, right? Or did we not do yet. that yet? Okay. Nope. I'm kind of waiting for the new animal trailer. So the server don't like the one that we have. Yeah. I love watching. Thanks. Amazing. Thank you, Dean. Appreciate that. Very much so. Server save. Yeah, we got about 15 minutes left, guys. If you have any questions, just fire away. Don't forget, you can ask in the uh, in the comments below. But the best way to ask is over on my Facebook page, or follow Old Man over on his YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook page. If you have a legit uh, question, they're always happy to help out. But if it's coming to mod conflicts, guys, please watch your folders and just make sure you're not causing your own problem. You know what I mean? Like, if it's a legit, you know, thing, then we can probably find an answer for you. But a lot of people are making their own problems by adding their too many extra mods. And it's conflicting with the map. So that's why we emphasize, like, everything you need to run Old Man's Maps is on the Trello site. So there's really no need to have anything else in there. It's totally up to you, but I'm just trying to save you a headache. Because believe me, some people are, are having an awful time, and it's just like, man, like, 
The mods are conflicting. You really got to watch that. And if you're playing on a server, guys, don't use the dev tool. It's not going to work out really well for you. No, it, it corrupted one of Papa's save games. He yeah. lost over 600 hours. Oh, my God. See what I mean? Like, yeah, you really got to watch that, guys, because I don't want to see anybody run into that. That's a lot of hours, you know. So if you're not wasted. sure of a mod, it, it might help you back up your save game before you even try to use it. There's a good tip right there, guys. Just back up your save game. Try a mod or two. If you're going to add them, just add like one or two. And uh, just make sure it's running properly. Check your log if you can. And make sure your no errors are popping up or any of that stuff. But if you stick with the stuff that's meant for the map, you shouldn't have any problems, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the top right-hand corner of my screen, but I'm running 60 frames right... It's stuck at 60 frames. That's the most you can get with this game. Oh, you could tweak it to give you more, but I wouldn't recommend it. There's a way to turn that off so you can get higher frame settings, but it messes around. I had animals floating in the air, walking backwards, vehicles not working right just because I turned off the, uh, the 60 frame per second cap. So just be wary of that if, if that's what you do. You're better off just sticking with the 60 frames. That's fine. Yeah, if it's mods you don't use, then you don't really need it in your folder. Make a separate folder for those. Yeah. And that is another thing. Like, I always tell people, like, make separate folders for your maps, guys. Like, even if you're repeating the same mods, that doesn't matter. Mods are so small nowadays. Like, you know, and the memory's getting so big. I have multiple of uh, the same mods on different maps and I keep them all in separate folders on my on my external hard drive and when I go to play another map I just switch up the folders and boom I don't have to worry about mod conflicts I don't have to worry about any of that stuff but like I said if you're new to the game it's a it's a learning process guys and we're, and we're certainly here to help you out if you need any all right Nick let's get rid of this darkness all right I'll jump on out here bring on the sunshine I got over 50 gigabytes of mods. Holy moly. That's a lot of mods. The guy is now has 40 gigs of mods in his folder. He does not, not use 5% of them or total mess. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, there's another thing too. Like some people just pollute their folders with mods they're not even using. Like if you're not using it, like get rid of it. Get it out of there. It's just clutter, right? The less you have in your folder, the more likely the map's not going to lag or crash or give you any problems. But yeah, like I just find some people are making their own problems. And it just sounds silly when you're asking a question that you could remedy, remedy yourself. There's nothing I hate worse when coming. It's like, oh, this is broken. It's like, no, dude, it's not broken. It's not broken. Trust me. It's something on your part. And then, sure enough, it is. Because these maps are tested and tested and retested. And if you yeah, stick... test the heck out of these maps. Yeah. L like, Dixie's always testing these out whenever they do updates and stuff. Testing out new mods. And uh, seriously, guys, like, just keep your eye open for that because it happens. Just stick with the mod pack. I, I would highly recommend just doing that. Then you don't have to worry about any of it. Do you get your mods from PV mods? Uh, for the PV stuff, yes. Yeah, Dave stuff, the PV stuff, and this stuff does not mix. Yeah, don't mix PV stuff with old man stuff, guys. Two completely different things. The scripting is all different. Yeah. Just trying to help you out, guys. I'm not trying to be a downer or anything. It's just some people make their own headaches, basically. And then they realize it's like, oh, okay, I see what you mean. But, like, I, I just hate when people say, the map's broke. You know what I mean? It's not broke, dude. Trust me, it's not. It's tested multiple times. But, I mean, there's always a, a, a you know... 
something might get by you know what i mean like if it's a legit thing i mean mention it for sure but just make sure it's not a mod conflict yeah and unless it's game breaking then we're not going to update the maps that's right and you'll notice too that they when he has updates you don't have to start the map over again so that's a that's an amazing feature that they're trying to prevent from having you losing all your game hours right because there's nothing worse than you get an update and you have to start the game over again. It's like, oh, all that work's gone. <clears throat> but usually little little tweaks and stuff, it's not a problem. It's more the, uh, if he has to alter the landscape or something, then it's then it's a major thing that's going to have to require a, a, a new start. Just trying to help you out, guys. And like I said, I'll have a Nyx picks up tomorrow. It's not for everybody. I do introduce new games that I have in my library. Pretty cool games, in my mind anyway. You might like them too. And uh, don't forget to hit up the Steam sale. It's on for a few more days yet, but it's going to be wrapping up soon. So Yeah, I think it wraps up tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So grab them while you can, guys. 75, 80% off. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nick, I realize your voice reminds me of Jordan Peterson. Who's Jordan Peterson? I'm not too sure. That name sounds familiar, but <clears throat> if you heard me at the beginning and then towards the end, my voice kind of gives out after a while. <laughs> this is the most talking I do all day. Well, no, mine does after I put in a three-hour stream. Oh, my God, I guess so. Yeah, well, I started I to, losing I my voice. Yeah. Because I don't do so much yapping when I'm here by myself. <laughs> but I love chatting with you guys, man. It's always uh, it's always nice chatting with you folks in the chat. And if you're new to the channel, guys, pop in the chat and say hello. I'd like to uh, meet you. AAA Studios release stuff for, with problems. No one can expect a modder to release something that's perfect. That's right, Chef. I hate now that like some of those AAA games like you're talking about like there's such a crunch they're trying to get it out like look at see it's not yeah for look at cyberpunk yes there's a prime example right there like if you got it on PC you might not run into any problems but they really pushed that out the door too early to cash in on Christmas and it's uh, pissing a lot of people off that they did that. And it's not working hardly at all with the older the consoles. Yeah, the older consoles, like it's given a lot of errors. Sony pulled it right off their storefront. They were that, they were that mad and given refunds. But I, I hate that they do that and they work their employees too hard. And it's like take your time, man. Like take your time with that stuff. You're charging seventy, eighty dollars for a game. Like don't put it out broken. There's nothing worse than when they release maps and it's like, oh, we'll fix it, or uh, release games, and it's like, well, we'll fix it later. No. You fix it now. <laughs> Peterson is basically some antilivrum. I'm not sure what that word is. Intelliver them. That name says I keep thinking that. Is that the dude that used to be uh, on American Idol, or one of them, or America's Got Talent, or something? Jordan Peterson. I think that's him. Do I sound like him? I don't know who that is either. Yeah. How are you harvesting at that speed? This is all modded up for a 16x map. But we brought it over to a 4x map and it's doing the job quite nicely. But it's a little fast for some. But you can uh, pick these mods up over on Papa Smurf's site or on the Trello board. It depends. 
and some are just geared up a little faster because it's for arc or personal gameplay. Okay, done this field. Dixie, what do we got? Oats. Um, couldn't download some of the mod packs, so I downloaded them one by one when needed. Well, I guess that's okay, but you really need to try to get the whole whole mod pack. Yeah, you should download the whole thing. At one time. That way you won't run into any problems, and then you can figure out what you need and don't need. You know what I mean? Because some of them stuff, like uh, somebody was mentioning there, that the screen was going black on them. They couldn't see the information in the top right-hand corner. And they were missing a mod that uh, helps with that. Okay, got this field done. Yeah, as of right now, the new new vehicle pack has uh, 32 mods in it. I wonder if I could fit in that silo over there. Probably not. Let's try. It's right in the middle. I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, what if cars were made that way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, here's your car, but it ain't got no brakes, and uh, what's the point? Yeah. Are you going to pay my insurance bill when I accidentally hit this other guy because my brakes don't work? <laughs> when you knew when you knew that they were bad? Best modding practice for FS19 is to have a separate mod folder for each map, then take a test game and add your mods in batches purchase everything and check your log good one chef that's perfect that's what you should be doing that's what i recommend to all you guys to keep a separate okay. folder for each map even if you got to repeat your mods over like it don't matter mods don't take up much space what's that dixie you're gonna say something if, if you know how to to uh use the in in-game uh, dev tool you can hit the little tilt the key and, and see your uh, game load up and check it for errors as it loads up. That helps a lot, too. That way you can eat more easily pinpoint what mod you're having problems with. You know, like when you do your map reviews, you hit that button and, and your, your log will pop up on, right. on the display. Yeah. And that's a simple, easy fix that, done in the game settings. There's videos out there that will, will tell you how to do it. Anyway, it's just something, something real simple where you train, change something from false to true. And then you'll be able to hit like your F2 button for to get your frame rate or your F5 to hit, hit the, uh, find the collision spots. Comes in real, real handy. Yep. Oh, ow. I find it real helpful when, when testing because that way you can see where the trigger actually ended up being. Because sometimes the map maker makes a mistake and puts the trigger off to one side too much. And a yellow box will come up and, and let you know exactly where the triggers are. <laughs> I don't got my harvester stuck in the silo. Yeah, I see that. Nick. <laughs> I got him. I almost I, got it. <laughs> ain't you learned you can't get the, those harvesters in there and stuff like that? <laughs> that make a good <laughs> screenshot. Let me get that. Down well, we got a lot of the reseeding done. Nice, nice. I just finished off my third field. I got it in there. It wasn't pretty, but I didn't have to go hey, get a what tipper. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I didn't have to go to get a tipper. I was trying to get it in silo six because uh. I had to disconnect from the header, but I was still too wide. I did. I ended up getting it though. <laughs> Where to find dev tools? I actually reviewed it not too long ago, uh, uh, Ben. Uh, the actual dev tool mod is available in the in game mod hub. There you go. The one that I'm talking about is the built in one, it, it's in your game settings. Yeah. But if you want to download that one, it's over on the mod hub. And uh, my top my top 15 mods for 20, uh, 2019. It's in there too. It's like my second or third favorite one. If I had a link, I'd send it to you, but I'd have to dig for it. Look at Nick humping the silo. <laughs> 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 I was not. 
<laughs> okay, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up right about here. We got all kinds of work done today, me and Dixie. Good stuff, good stuff. And like I said, guys, thank you so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure talking to you. Don't forget to follow Dixie over on her channel. You can find her link down in the description. And if you could hit the like button down below, guys, I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel big time. It really does. But, uh, yeah, guys, you have a wonderful evening. We'll be back here on Wednesday for a little trucking. Like I said, I'll have a next picks up for you tomorrow. And hopefully I'll have a review out for you this Tuesday. So, yeah, like I said, take care, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.